I am here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Tried to get down here earlier today or earlier than we've uh, done before. Um, especially like for the last couple of days, asking for that rain, knowing it was going to rain. Wanted to get out before the rain, but looks like it's going to um, be a constant rain. And that's all good. Um, enjoy it when it does rain. But I'm here, right here at the building. Just left uh, MD, one of MD's favorite spot. You know what it is. It's that P.O. Box 683165. Orlando, Florida, 32868. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, we just left there. And uh, see, it's a constant rain. We were going to get out, and then it, it uh, started raining again. And like we said, you know, we know we do have some that's that's radical, you know, and and and, and God, you know, Jesus sent me to do this, and you know, and uh, had you all laughing when we were out there on that field, and like, you know, somebody would be out here with it uh, when the rain is pouring down, you know, and the Lord sent me, and it, it, <laughs> and it probably it probably would be MD. <laughs> But uh, we had a, a great experience uh, with uh, one of our sons uh, a few days ago. And uh, this, one, this one right here, you know, MD say have taught her, uh, definitely taught MD the, uh, the love of God. I heard about it from my father, but this one right here, I have one son, MD have one son that literally have taught um, not only his servant, but that MD side of his servant, what it is to really have the love of God. And uh, run out there real quick for this one. And, and, uh, and so we had a unexpected uh, visit this this weekend and uh, and he come over we were waiting for someone else to come over at the same time and uh, I was like well you know um, all this going on and I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to uh, I'm be coming down the stairs and uh, I was like well let me grab the veil I said because you know all this all is still going on and so I went to grab the veil and and uh, he was like, you know, mom, you know, um, just be you. You know, that's what he was like, mom, just be you. And I was like, uh, that is me, son. That's that's uh, that's uh, just who I am. And of course, they all know that, you know, but um, they know who I am in in certain way, not to not to the fullest degree, you know, because sometimes I. I'm almost certain they they're like you know you know I, you know I I know you're my mom I know you're this servant of the Lord and I know you are this uh, you know mother Doris but 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 can can you just be mom today? <laughs> and uh, he really he really. Just really since that day, he really just needed mom, you know, just need you to be that mom, you know, that mom, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and I heard it, I heard it through the spirit and I was like, you know, him to like, okay, all right, all right, you, you're asking for that, that mom, that, that side that, you know, um, now, MD don't play, but you're asking for that side that's like, you know, um, you know, I'm not just here alone, you know, uh, speaking for himself. I really do have 
someone that really like has my back kind of thing and uh and so he pulled that out of me and and uh he he just doesn't know what happened that day because um later on that week i was just out and uh and and uh, those thoughts even those very words and and only he could get away doing that and like i said this one has taught md the love of god and uh, only he could get away with that um saying that you know just 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 be you mom just be you you know and uh and i was like you know you know but but this is me but not understanding at that moment that all he wanted was me to just be mom you understand nothing extra not saying that was extra it was just just who i am but but he's not around that 24 7 uh now that they're all grown you know and so you know and so i I mean, I thought about that thing. It was so powerful. And uh, um, later in that week, I was like, how many times uh, when they were little and growing up and uh, having a mother that uh, have experienced God and encountered God like I have and uh, having this spiritual mother and everyone else looks at her as like an evangelist at that time when they, you know some of them can remember as an evangelist then to see that mature to uh being a mother over ministry and things like that and and seeing the things that they they too with their little eyes uh experience because of uh the call and the chosenness that's on their mother and we thought about how many times um, we might have put them in a uh, predicament that was uncomfortable, you know, because how can they explain, <laughs> how do they explain you to their little friends or to other children that, you know, may not, you know, have been raised up with God or the spirit or anything like that. And so I thought, you know, that really opened up, you know, um, his servant spirit and mind and thoughts and all of that to, you know, how they must have felt. And the only way that 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 um, we could even come to somewhat of an understanding was to, you know, look at how, um, you know, my father was and things like that. And, you know, I really didn't feel that much awkward, but I knew that there was something different about my father, you know, and my and my mother and the way they dressed me and things like that. You know, you knew it was something different about them, but, you know, you, you just went along with it. You know, you just, you know, you didn't know any anything, you know, anything better because this is what was taught to you. And so, um, what really gave me a greater understanding is that I, you know, MD really went beyond that, even with the raising of those four sons, uh, that we really didn't want to become like a, a creepy or spooky kind of person, even to them, although they have seen some some things that's, that they'll tell you really blew their minds um, and things like that, even from a child. Uh, but... Uh, he just doesn't know how much that just opened his servant, not only eyes, but spirit, soul, body, you know, even thoughts, my mind, that mind of MD too. Like, you know, how many times have they been on, you know, like in that awkward moment or uncomfortable because, you know, we're walking in a place of the spirit that not too many people uh, really get to go there. And so, um, you know, I didn't put on the veil or anything like that. We just, you know, went out open and, you know, um, you know, just had that conversation and everything like that. And it turned out to be a very, very uh, beautiful com conversation uh, um, and things like that. And, and uh, 
you know, it's moments like that I get leverage on it because I, I only let him know, you know, that if, if, if your mom can, you know, do this, surely you can do that. Like, you know, like pull your pants up or something like that, or, you know, so don't question certain things, you know, um, if, if you see that your mother can, uh, comply to even your, uh, you know, expectation of something you may desire, uh, then, you know, don't look at us funny when we look at you and say, hey, you know, uh, can you like, uh, not do this or, you know, can you, uh, you know, uh, you know, try this or something like that. So that, that really did open like, uh, an avenue to be able to communicate in ways like, uh, you know, I never even crossed it never even honestly until that day, it never crossed his servant mind or thoughts that, you know, how they felt growing up and seeing their mother, you know, um, be used like that of God and, you know, and certain things like that, how, 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 um, you know, how awkward that they must have felt. And so, um, it, it taught me as I was going later on into that week, it taught me, um, that it's okay to, you know, even though you have these, uh, these gifts that's this this gift that's like of a mystery um it's okay to be able to turn it off or tone it down you understand and uh because you can like a servant you can be going 24 7 and and now that they're all grown you're just you have that that free and extra time to really go all the way in and, 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 and for you, that's just like a light day for him. They just like a light day to do these things because that's what we do and all. Um, but you know, that was a moment to have with my son and uh, my son needed that moment with me at that, at that time, not with mother Doris, not with, uh, his servant, uh, but with my mom, you know, with my mom. And so I, you know, some of them, they like mother, some like mom. And so when they like mom, that's that, you know, I, I you know, kind of need you to be on the edge kind of thing, you know, and like that, you know, that, uh, that one that just, you, you know, won't take nothing, uh, like no for an answer, that kind of mom. So I'm like, okay, uh, we can, we can do that. And, uh, so I was just, I was blessed by that because, uh, we said when we come to the building today that we were going to uh, talk to those that have special gifts uh, and things like that. And um, having special gifts like that, uh, being able to tap into uh, places that others really don't get to tap into. Some do become spooky. Some do uh, use these gifts for evil and not for good, and some, because they've used them for evil and not good, it, it has labeled a lot of us as witches and, you know, and uh, full of demons and, you know, practicing all kind of, you know, voodoo and all that crazy stuff because that's what other folks have done and used these gifts to do. And what we must be careful um in this in this area very careful not just the those that attend church the believer that is the receiver or those that are outside the church the unbeliever have to be careful not to um assume or make assumptions that this is some type of witchcraft and things like that because that's all you know and sometimes that's what people identify to is is what they know and all that they know um and so you have to be very careful not to make that assumption or assume um because you might be blaspheming unaware and some some of you we know have gotten away with doing so um unaware and so this is one of the reasons why we're doing this video right here. I'm here. I'm at that building, 1500, the pinnacle. Uh, we're here and all. And as you can see, it was raining. This is the voice of high servant, Mother Doris, founder of I Am Sent Me, builder of the storehouse. We're set in glory. 
We've redeemed this Saturday. Every Saturday has always been, Saturday has always been uh, glory in me day. And so we have redeemed that day, stepped out of class, class 2021. Uh, we stepped out of class to uh, have these uh, Saturdays where we go city and feet in action kind of thing. So uh, we are pursuing that building like never before, just so we can settle the spirit of the living God in this one place. Uh, so that we can see the power of God be operated uh, to the point that people get out of wheelchairs. Now, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. We're sticking to that. <laughs> we're going to stick with that right there because we are, as being told by the Spirit, we're no more uh, going to the wilderness. Uh, it was at the high place of 313. Let us put this in right here. Uh, it was at the high place where the Lord uh, pulled us uh, we had an unexpected visit and, and uh, we didn't know the person was going to come and they just showed up and and uh, we weren't going to go down. We could act like we weren't there. Uh, but the Spirit said to me not to let them come up, uh, not to let the individual come up. So we had to go down. He told me to go down and and we went down and, and picked up what was uh, being brought. And then we went back up and as soon as we stepped uh, stepped that one foot inside of that 313 unit, the Spirit of God spoke to his servant and said, now don't go back down again. And uh, that thing was so mighty that we was like, wow. Um, and uh, oftentimes we do that when the Lord takes us up. We've come down and come down and come down and, you know, and we've come down to help so many people come up. And uh, some have gone up, forgot all about you. And then some have just, you know, not even wanting to come up and just keep you down. And then it took the Lord to take us back to day one and said, I, you know, and remind the servant why he sent us to Florida. And um, I, I sent you there to, for you to take a people up, not for people to take you down. And so uh, uh, that, that being said, uh, we see we have some keeping our eye over because like I said, we can see that we have people and we can see around the building that you have people that literally are, they're homeless and uh, you have to know the spirit. And so I have a gentleman that's kind of like coming up and approaching. So I'm kind of like I'm on my, uh, I'm here talking, I'm at the building. But I, too, want him to know I got my eye on him as well uh, and all because we could tell by the spirit. Look over there. You see the mattress still over there. There was mattresses over there. And all we still, if it, uh, we might just even take that walk in just about a second or two just to at least one lap. Uh, and all looks like the rain has stopped. But um, all looks like he's on his on his way. But you can you can tell you can tell that 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 uh, the spirit is in this area is very very strong um young young men and young women uh, under the attack of of the enemy uh and all and uh, even satan himself uh and you see a lot of vagabond spirits uh you see those that their minds are troubled and all and uh you you understand and and uh, uh, that you see that that trash is still there, um, and all and uh, if we do walk around the building, you'll see uh, certain things. We see a tire over there. We see you can see the uh, cans and things on the, um, and it's a, it's a beautiful area. It's overall beautiful area. Area just needs some trees trimmed down and you know, taken care of some TLC, you know, and, and, uh, and there you have it, you see, and, and, uh, uh, cleaning up that parking lot and, and, uh, getting rid of that debris and trees that, that, that tree right there literally can come down. You could see, uh, it, it could really be uh, removed and maybe put something like a nice, a sit area, something out there to, to beautify that area and make it a lot better to look upon. And of course, out here, you, you can see that cut these trees back and, you know, all let the grass show on both sides and, 
you understand it's 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 a it's an area that can be fixed uh and things like that and those that have those types of spirits when you put this in areas like this um you know you 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 never want to make it so uppity up and so better than and I'm better than kind of thing that they don't feel comfortable to come in and to come around. It was almost like, real quick if we may, it was almost like when we were doing meetings at that, that warehouse there on Paramore. And honest to truth, uh, we have witnesses to this. Uh, this uh, uh, this extent is that when his servant would be down there ministering and we had such a beautiful, the gentleman had such a beautiful uh, amplifying, uh, amplifier and, and uh, equipment was just superb and extra crisp. And oh my goodness, the voice could be heard uh, for miles. You could hear it way out on the front street out there on West Colonial and people was coming off of West Colonial and other areas that because they heard that voice and uh and uh but to see one night we saw literally it was raining I mean it was raining and people began to pull up in their trucks and their cars and some would just even in the rain wind their windows down but others would get out and would literally be standing they wouldn't come in but they would stand, and in the rain, they would stand just to hear uh, this woman of, you know, this woman of God, God's servant, just ministering the word. And it, it, it was just, it just really blew his servant mind, and it was, it was that, that really, um, uh, how the Lord let me know, you, 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 that's where the going beyond the, the four walls and things like that came from, and you got to reach them because they're out there. And some of them um, have said that they would never go to another church, you know, and, and uh, you know, because they've had that church hurt or disappointment from the church. And so we understand that because that was like a a uh, uh, determination we had growing up. Like if that that's all it is to church, I don't want to be a part of it. So we, we uh, definitely under, understand that. And so we began to reach out and go beyond because we saw the hunger and the and the thirst uh that i want to be a part of that but i just you know i i'm just not dressed right i'm i just i'm just not comfortable to come in there so we don't ever want to get a building even to this magnitude and looking good and things like that a nice setting and you know fix it up so well that we we don't really um embrace that uh for you know all to come regardless so that's another reason why certain t-shirts are coming out and certain clothing and things like that so you know they may not be able to uh do whatever whatever but we can do our part to help everyone not just uh even though md is going after my kind that doesn't stop me from um helping others as well it never has, and I don't believe it ever will. And so, um, back to where we started from, and uh, I, the, we have this T-shirt in front of us, and let's do this walk, and we'll finish this about uh, those with special gifts, because that's one of the reasons why we said we would start part one on today. Uh, today is June the 5th of 2021 and this is a very special day because it was one year from this day today makes it one full year that it was uh we had to go into this dark room and uh, had to have the room make the room completely pitch black and uh we had to do a message uh and send it aatw all around the world uh and that message was we are all black and that was the first time in all of his servants, ministry, uh, carrying the gospel, doing what we do and teaching, preaching, ministry. Uh, this was the first time that the spirit really made himself known to his servant. Uh, it was that time. It was about that time uh, that the spirit is saying, you need to know that uh, who you're representing, who you're talking about. Uh, and be able to represent me correctly. And so the Spirit of God took us into a full black room 
and uh, had us even put on uh, uh, all black wear so you wouldn't be able to see us in that room. And uh, it was in that room that the Spirit uh, gave us a, a word. Uh, we are all black. You sure, you sure you want me to say that? I'm sure people will get offended. And how the Lord broke that down, the Spirit of the living God broke that down to his servant. And we will begin to expound upon that because it's been one year later. And so we will expound upon that. We are very confident to say that we know where the Spirit came from um, and uh, how the Spirit got here and all and how that Spirit, the Spirit of God became, well, is God. God is a Spirit. And so we can connect the pieces to make all of uh, the sense in the world and even beyond sense because you wouldn't be able to dispute it. And it was in that black room, that dark room, where the Lord showed me that we are all black. And all he is talking about is that we are all spirit. And, and somewhere during the course of all of our lives, uh, somewhere we've lost focus of that. And that's one of the reasons why you hear a servant constantly talk about uh, this thing that is uh, called uh, one. And uh, even in marriages and things like that, if we dare to become one. And uh, uh, it is because we've seen the spirit. Uh, and, uh, we, you know, be, phew, my goodness, before we even uh, had flesh put on our body and all that uh, we are all spirit. We're we're all spirit. We're just spirit, and all. And so to to uh, to have been taken into that room, and in that dark room, we didn't get it right then and there. It took about three days, maybe later, and around the eighth of uh, June, which we will talk about this on that day. Uh, around the eighth of June uh, is when we were looking back at that video. And uh, and and all of a sudden, the spirit of God just like went in in my ears, in his servant ears, and and like his his hands or fingers were in uh, his servant ears, and he just all of a sudden had both of them there, and then suddenly pulled them out, and like all of a sudden I could hear something I didn't hear before, and his servant heard the spirit say, uh, "I am here. Uh, can you see me?" I am here. And we put that, uh, um, started talking about that and all for uh, like uh, a minute or two. And then we moved on uh, and all. And uh, let me know uh, I am here. When he showed me I am here, then we, sh we saw, his servants saw through the spirit how the spirit got here and how everything else came after the spirit uh, um, you know, everything came after that. Uh, Spirit recognized, I'm still here. I'm still alive. You understand? And, uh, you know, weren't able to see in all that blackness. And then the Spirit, uh, the Word, however you want to go. We'll talk more about this. Uh, begin to speak light. Let it, all, it just come out of, let there be light. And uh, so you could see the spirit moving. If it was just all pitch black and everything like that, you wouldn't be able to see the spirit moving. Um, and so that was the uh, necessity for light and so many other things to come that we might be able to see the spirit of the living God move. And so we're going to talk about this because it's much deeper, it's much more profound um, and all than we could even sit here and talk for the, uh, 30 to an hour and still not even... Uh, pull all together what happened in that room and so uh, we kind of held back on certain words because we want to make sure that we say exactly what we heard uh, uh, a few days later uh, to let us see how the spirit came into uh, uh, where we could see the spirit uh, we may not ever be able to say oh this uh, this is this individual's name because it's spirit, all spirit. Uh, so we may not be able to say, oh, this is uh, John T. whatever you understand. We may not be able to say that and put a name on it. That's why that name is God. You understand? Uh, and uh, may not be able to give him a man's name. 
uh, per se. Uh, but uh, that God is spirit. And uh, that is that God's name, spirit. And so, um, and that's what we, we, we identify him as. And we use him um, uh, very lightly. And we'll talk more about that so we can use him appropriately. Uh, but it's for you to understand uh, how the spirit got here. And uh, we talk about that, that blackness, that dark, that darkness, that uh, and all to get you to see that, that he said to me, the spirit of God said to me, I didn't come from outer darkness, but I did come from out of darkness. And so that's a big difference right there. He, uh, and I'll say that again, the spirit let his servant know that he didn't come from outer darkness. You know, because most of the time we hear about outer darkness, it talks about that there shall not be, or there will be uh, the gnashing, uh, gnashing of teeth, like G-N-A-S-H-I-N-G, uh, the gnashing of teeth. And, uh, and uh, you hear about that cast into outer darkness kind of thing. And so he said to me that that's not where I come from. So he didn't come from outer darkness. That's O-U-T-T-E-R. He didn't come from outer darkness, but he did come from out of darkness, like the grave, escape the grave or the depth of a sea. Um, and so we want to talk about that. We literally are going to talk about that. I'm just throwing that out right now. Uh, that's part of the eternal. Uh, but I, I've, I put this on the stern wheel of glory because um, we picked this up earlier today uh, before we started ordering them. And we're still not completely satisfied. We have to shift right there for about a second real quick, switch real quick, um, because we don't want to really throw too much of that out but we will be talking about this. I'm just gonna wind these little windows down just for a little minute or two before we do that that lap. Um, but um, again, this is the voice of High Servant Mother Doris Founder by him sent me builder of the storehouse. Today is June the fifth of twenty twenty one. It's that Saturday of glory and me. We're out in the city, go city. Uh, we are feet in action and today we're at this 1500 pinnacle uh, building. It's been vacant and abandoned for some time. It's a building of interest because of all of those beautiful windows. It does have uh, the double doors. It's it's amazing. It's in gold. It's it's all of the right things. It has uh, pillars, pillars that are on both sides of the building, which is very very interesting. Uh, interesting to his servant. I uh, really would like to get on the inside of this building and see what it looks like uh, in all. Uh, uh, I've called, uh, gave it a little minute or two uh, before we really start pursuing it even again. But we've come down here. And while we're down here, we just decided to do a few messages and all while we're here. Uh, and also a lap, maybe one or two, who knows. Uh, but uh, it, everything is here at that building. I'm looking over there. I see something that we haven't seen before. I uh, see over there by that dumpster over there. You you see that it, it has a handicap, a couple of handicap signs. And so, you know, it's just not a lot of work really to be done. There's a whole lot of things already set in place. And we also showed you out on the property that it has lights uh, and things like that. And so it's, it's very... Uh, uh, it, it 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 could very well be a very nice building to branch uh the storehouse out from uh in all uh, it's just it's just it's nice it's very nice uh in all but anyway back here so we can do this lap and get out of here uh in all uh uh we're we're uh we brought in that t that particular day because uh, that day is a very powerful day. It's the day that we literally say we found the spirit. Uh, we found God, you know, and most of the time when people say, I, I found the spirit, I found God, you know, that is like more or less like around salvation or, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's more towards that. But this was actually the time that his servant found 
the spirit and we're not talking uh you know speaking in tongues that either you know and things like that but literally absolutely 100 percent certain we found the spirit uh we was able to track and trace the spirit trace track the spirit however order we first started saying it um we were able to do so um as far as even pinpointing the spirit that the spirit didn't come from outer outer darkness but out of darkness and uh, and how even his son uh, who said i come to do the work of my father uh, and the will of my father all of that uh, is like jesus coming to do the very the very thing that god uh, his father uh, did but we never saw it so jesus uh, taking on that body and when you see me you see the father and uh, uh, his name shall be Emmanuel uh, which is God with us all of that is Jesus going through the main thing that his father did but never showed us we never saw it uh, and all and how Jesus uh, would he too before he went to the grave unlike his father before he went to the grave he gave up that ghost oh my goodness it is absolutely powerful uh what we learned and what we encountered on 6 5 2020 2020 is when the spirit of god revealed himself to his servant because um you know you just can't talk about me and not know who I am, where I come from, and all in my, 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 my. And then to show his servant through that one particular video, uh, we are all black. That is to suggest and to bring to to bring us back to focus and also we can get past looking at one another by race and and uh uh you know creed and and uh background and where we come from to realize that we are all spirit that we first are spirit and if we ever get our spirit right oh my goodness we won't see we won't see color we won't see where a person come from all we will see is the love of god you see and uh, we're going to talk more about this but uh what we have in front of us is that t-shirt let me get back to this uh this t-shirt and it's uh we uh just thought we'd put it in today because this is that very special day the day we found the spirit and the spirit made um, himself aware to his servant that uh he was here and uh oh my goodness oh, can't wait to really get into that and expound more about that uh, and all but anyway it's part of that eternal life um, and uh, real quick uh, bring this real to a close of course this is not how we really want it yet I'm working with this one company but it's just still I'm not satisfied yet this is not perfect um, I really want it in they tried to get it as light I guess that's light but it was really um, this happened like you can see on April the 25th 2021 and uh, if it wasn't for, we're throwing it really, really fast here uh, because it could be another 30 minutes of talking if we if we don't just go in and out with this. Uh, but, you know, we dedicate this, uh, this particular T-shirt to uh, a man that we didn't even know, but just come through the spirit uh, and all to get his servant attention. Uh, received certain messages from this individual as he was crossing and going in the high place we received certain messages from him and then um uh even a sign and that sign was we have it on video we can't you can't deny it so it's uh, that's how powerful it is that we were able to capture it on video and uh how something would go from a star to a cross to an x and it happened right on the very day that uh, they they were holding uh, his uh, uh, like the final ceremony or or the final uh, you know uh, home going celebration or funeral. You know, MD really don't like that word, um, but that's what they were doing, and they did it uh, did a live stream. I believe it was on April the twenty fifth of twenty twenty one. That's none other than for the uh, Earl. DMX uh, Simmons and this is what he really inspired this uh, because of the X 
that was put in the sky that was a sign lord give me a sign and uh, those that get with it are all reaching a hug no md uh, from day one has always talked about eternal life i've gone in come out of it um you know and uh I, every now and again his servant can get so you know closed in with it that uh as you heard when we were talking about our son earlier and like mom can you just be mom like that kind of setting uh we've learned how to like ease up off of the thing and not just be so overwhelming as if we're getting obsessed with it or whatever like that so we we'll go at it for a little while and uh, then we back away from it and then it takes the spirit of god to cause something to happen so we don't forget because it's part of our journey it's something that we must do while we are in the earth and that is get people to know that eternal life does exist uh, that there is life after death yeah md said it yep md did say that absolutely convinced and the things that when, when all these encounters that his servant have that you're about to see it, we're going to, this is just part one, um, but we're going to talk more about it so we can reach those that have special gifts, that you don't have to let your gift become evil. You can take that gift and uh, you can use it for good when it comes to his servant. Uh, we use it for the glory of God, like we have it, uh, said before, how the Spirit said to his servant that what I've given you, which is the gift of God, uh, what I've given you is not for the church, it's not for the world, it's for me. And so it always, this gift always has to give God glory. We just can't, we just can't charge for it. We can't be like, call me now. We can't be like giving psychic readings and things like that. Uh, when you step into that classroom, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, when you step in that classroom and the servant is on that platform for light and life, and you hear us talk about certain, um, like we just come out of the great uh, read for greatness. We just come out of that that greatness read. Uh, it's nothing psychic about that. Uh, it is all prophetic, uh, not pathetic. Prophetic is prophetic. Uh, coming prophetically speaking to align your day to what uh, the spirit, the word of God, uh, the B-I-B-L-E, whatever you want to say, however you want to put it, is to get your, li your life back on track and in alignment with the spirit for, for your spirit and the spirit to become one. And uh, oh my goodness, when, when that happened, you could have joy, you could have peace and all of that into your life. You can even have, some have seen it happen, you have, you can even have longevity. And so that's what that is all about. Nothing psychic. And so uh, being able to reach out, that's why we're coming to do these uh, special uh, part one right now is where we're getting started with this eternal life dealing with these special gifts no you're not weird no you're not creepy uh, no you're not possessed by the evil one none of that uh, but you do need training you do need to understand your gift. You do need to know when to turn it off. And yes, you can turn it off. And yes, you can tone it down. And his servant was reminded of that uh, a few days ago uh, through, through none other than one of our sons reminded us, you know, that yes, I know your mother, Doris, and I know you are his servant. And I know God uses you because I've seen God use you powerfully in my life that I know that if it wasn't for that that uh, uh, who you walk with and who you talk with and having the ability to do uh, those things and be uh, in oneness with God that there's no way I'll be st I would be standing here right on side of you next to you so I know all of that but on today <laughs> right now you know this very moment can you like I'm not asking you to turn it all the way off, but can you like just 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 tone it down? You understand? And I, I just I just want to know my I just want to see my mom. You understand? I just I just want to see mommy if I have to. And that thing just I mean it rocked my world. It it moved me in ways that whew, 
and only he can do it. He's the only one really can do that. He's the only one. And we believe it's because we have to transfer this, this gift to him. And so the Bashida Bahaya. Wow. So, you know, it was it was such a blessing. So we're going to help you. And we believe a lot of you wouldn't seem you wouldn't appear to be so weird or creepy or whatever if someone would train you or you would allow someone to train you. Well, MD is making myself available to help those. And that's one of the reasons for this building. And we can get out right here. Um, we're still working on this t-shirt. Um, it has it has that X. You can see it. We had them literally what went from a star uh, to a cross to an X. We literally had them straighten it up um, and all to be a T for eternal. But it really is an X. And we dedicate this shirt, this t-shirt, uh, because... Uh, he brought us back uh, to reality. You can't run from this. People must know that there is life after death. That there is such a thing as eternal life. That's one of the reasons why even in oneness you hear a servant talk about. Uh, put in that oneness. Uh, Roman, Romans 6.23. That'll come out. Put these glasses up off our nose. Romans 6.23 that says, For the wages of sin is death. That's the wages of sin is death. But this is where we tell people because of light. Learn light. Is we say every time you see a B-U-T. But in the word. And the Lord butts in. We have. we. That's what we have in the bot. We have uh, a side that people haven't seen, and that's the butt side of the Lord. And so, when the, whenever the Lord butt in a thing, it shifts everything. It changes everything. It switches everything. It's almost like you going to a light switch, and turning that light switch from 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 uh, off. You know, being in an off position to on something you see you've never seen before so when you see that butt anytime in that b-i-b-l-e and, and that's the butt part that's like the behind side of god you see the back the back part uh, uh, a side that many many don't get to see and so uh it says it says it says this the way for for so right away that that's that's working for you for the wages of sin is death. No doubt about that. We see that with our Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ on the cross. He 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 had to die. He 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 couldn't live because of the sin that he took upon himself. For you know, my sin, your sin, sins, you see. Uh, that being said, uh, but it, it gives us hope. Here come the hope. But uh the gift of God. You see, that's where things, here, here come the light. Here's when the switch goes on. But the gift of God is eternal life. You see, so, so, so that, that, that goes beyond the barriers of death. That steps out the grave. You understand? The gift of God. And, uh, but the gift of God is eternal life. You understand? And that changes everything. You understand? That changes everything. All things are changed by that right there. And so uh, that's why you hear a servant say it constantly. Every day it comes out, you know, in that oneness, you know, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And so his servant knows that. We, that his servant has the gift of God and knows that that is eternal life. And, uh, you know, that there is no dying when it comes to his servant. You understand? And so that's way out there, uh, but it's very, very light. Very, very light. And so we're going to take this time while we're at this building, and we're going to talk to those with special gifts and things like that. And we're going to help you um, to not seem so creepy and spooky. And people, when they see you come and go down another 
<laughs> another aisle. You understand? And it, it took some time for his servant. You understand? Because you have to get uh, beyond what others think. And know your heart and what's in your heart. And... Uh, and things like that and of course we're going to share in in one of these parts uh how we know we're not a witch uh and where the real light came uh to his servant so we know uh, because when you have gifts like this it is very easy to walk a thin line you see that little line right there well we put that figure in there uh, you see that little line that's on there, like that wire? It's like walking that thin line right there. You could you could easily go to the other side. You understand? But you can't. You cannot. His servant cannot. Uh, what is it to have such a powerful gift and God does not get the glory from that? No, we would like to take this gift that God has given us, the gift of God. Uh, take that to as high as we could take it. Uh, and all to bring it to the earth where the earth can understand uh, and get to know this high place, you see. And so uh, it has to give God glory. It has to. It has to. Uh, and all. And so we're going to uh, be sharing a lot. Uh, like today, this is a lot. Is We're almost going into about an hour. It's, but it's such a relaxing area come down here you can hear the birds and the trees and we sit through the rain um, and it's beautiful it's beautiful and so areas like this we always say can be cleaned can be made whole uh, in all and uh, can be of a great help uh, in the city in the state the community, neighborhood, whatever you want to say, because it's time, really it is, to get the, the neighbor back uh, and the communities where they are of a place where you can commune and na be neighborly one to another. It's, it's, it's that time. It's, it's enough of all that other stuff, fighting and bickering and hatred and, and uh, not being able to get along with your our next door neighbor or uh, people that you're so ever close to on a daily basis. I mean, come on now. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's what we're going to be doing while we work on this shirt, this t-shirt. Um, uh, really want to get that picture. Uh, really want it light blue uh, because it really wasn't dark that night. Even at 8:25, it was 8:25 p.m. Uh, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't dark, and you could see it. The, see the original picture and video that uh, you could still see the light. Uh, but the darkness was setting in. But it wasn't that dark yet. It wasn't completely night. All right, and so. Uh, but we had them straighten it up and make it look like a T and be the, the actual T that's in the word eternal. And so this is okay because if you zoom in, you can still see the X. You can see the X. It's, it's there. You can see the X. Let's see. Ta, ta. You can see the X. Ta, ta. It's there. You can see the X. You see. But it's still not as clear and as crispy as we would like it. And we, they did get the original photo. And uh, you zoom in it. I'll put it up. I'll put it and attach it here to this video. You zoom in it. You'll see. And all. And uh, we had them straighten it up so we could use it as a T. But it, it became an X. And uh, it happened right there on the very day of uh, when they were doing that final uh, uh, home going celebration for uh, Earl DMX Simmons uh, which means that, that he will be around for a very long time uh, He his spirit will be uh, ever elevated and uh, he will be of great blessings uh, to, the, to, to, to all uh, because he was neither for the church or for the world. 
uh, but he was for God. Um, God used him, and those that, uh, that's where we started. We said you have to be very, very careful, those that don't know. But hopefully by doing these videos and, uh, and uh, dealing with the special gifts and those that have special gifts and things like that, um, these are people that literally have touched death, literally died, and have come back to life. You know, and if you have never done that, then you will never understand MD. Uh, you will never understand people like even Earl DMX Simmons uh, or anyone else that has literally died and, and doctors gave you up to die, yet you live uh, and it was, it was beyond miracle. It was a mystery. Had doctors scratching their heads uh, and all. And so we're going to uh, step out of our comfort zone like we did that a few days before uh, this video. And uh, just so we could be that mom that our son was looking for. And, uh, and, uh, and all. We're going to get out of that comfort zone. And we're going to share, 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 share and help those so that we can be a greater help uh, in the earth. We shouldn't have to um, put on those spiritual wings and become that angel uh, on the other side to, uh, to assist those that are in trouble right now in the earth. We should be able to uh, feel comfortable in uh, being that spiritual uh, identity here in the earth. Uh, before ever going uh, to the other side and uh, do it comfortably uh, as unto the Lord. And so uh, we're going to work on this t-shirt, uh, may even just do one big large X uh, and all and then put in small writing eternal life and then the date on side of there. But we're going to do more than one t-shirt, uh, but that this is that X that was in the sky. We will link the uh, videos and all of that uh, that will always, uh, you will see this on the wall of none other than, uh, uh, you'll see it on all of our walls, really. It'll, it'll make its way, but basically you'll see it on um, our introduction wall, which is Doris A. Green, Facebook, of course. Uh, we do have it on YouTube uh, at I Am Sent Me, our channel, I Am Sent Me. Um, and it, it's also going to be on the Mother Doris page, the authentic page, Mother Doris authentic page. So it's going to be there and all as we, and you can look for it around the 18th because that is uh, the sign, the sign day, S-I-G-N day. And you get to see all the signs that his servant has encountered uh, here in Florida alone is a lot of signs. And like we said, some of you have a big, a big old billboard over your head and you're still missing the sign. And uh, you're still asking God to show you something, but you have a big old billboard that's over your head where you're going to get to see different billboards that were actually signs that literally caught the eyes of the Lord. And we posted them. And, and so you'll start seeing this one here, along this t-shirt and his picture and things like that around the 18th. Of course, his birthday did fall on the 18th, which is December the 18th of uh, 1970. God knows the servant really wish we uh, could have uh, met this man. That, but we, we do get to meet him under these circumstances of eternal life. And he reminds me, his, his, his life is so much uh, like the life of my father. I mean, you could just like, if you didn't know any better, it's like my father birthed him, you understand? And uh, birthed a, really birthed another him uh, in the earth. And so he showed me that there are people uh, like his servant out there. And so this is one of the ways we can reach you while you're, you are alive. And we're going to just step out of our comfort zone to do so. And all that we can be a blessing um, to you and others. All right, we're going to take a lap. We won't video it, uh, but we are at the video. But we are going to do a lap. And all, we'll just count this as our uh, video uh, part one. Um, and all that we're going to put it on the YouTube as well. 
um, before ever putting it on our page. Uh, we find that to be the better way to do it. Uh, be sure to join us uh, tomorrow, Sunday. We'll be on that platform for light, uh, but we'll, we'll be out of the class, stepping out of the class again uh, at around 12.22. Uh, we'll put the link here. I am sent me Facebook. We'll be live. And uh, we'll be gathering the nation of I am. All right. So we're going to pick this up again uh, on next Saturday. We'll put the date and the time. And all. we normally don't put the time. We just come as we are led by the Spirit. We don't want to get into a certain time uh, and all. Um, but uh, we do come on a Saturday. And you can see today that we came uh, even while it was raining and all. And it started to rain. But we uh, set it out. And uh, the sun uh, somewhere out there. Uh, it's over at Servant Head. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Um, it's one of these windows. Uh, Let's get ready to uh, take this lap. Grab a hold of the uh, uh, the sun, that light, and uh, do a lap. See the little squirrels running across there. Grab one of them at least. Uh, put it in the video here because we'll talk about that. That's even light right there. Um, but. Uh, if you're interested and you're looking to invest into something, uh, there is something we know the world has never seen, and that is the uh, store, the storehouse. And uh, you'd have to catch us on Thursdays over there at that I am sent me again where we uh, we talk more about the the storehouse. Uh, but we believe that we can uh, not come in to do away with the courthouse but we do believe we can fulfill a lot of the things that the, uh, the courthouse isn't able to fulfill um, you know not not understanding not knowing about the storehouse uh, many people go straight to uh, jail to prison but if they knew about a storehouse uh, in all and that there was a place like the storehouse uh, we could save a lot of uh, young men and women uh, from going uh, straight off to jail and prison uh, by being able to. That's one of the reasons. Again, that's another reason why it's very important um, for us to deal with and start talking about. Um, yep, it's up there, right over this servant head, right there. Uh, start talking about those that have these special gifts. And uh, even schools uh, have misinterpreted these gifts uh, and all because not, no one has talked about it until now. Uh, but MD is going to talk. We're going to talk about this uh, and all till you really get to see it and understand uh, understand what it really, what this really is. And like we said, and this is where we're going to close. You have to be very careful uh, to not misinterpret uh, you know, this type of gift, even behavior, uh, because you, some of you, like we said, started out, uh, not knowing, unaware, had blasphemy, but, but, uh, uh, some of you can even thank God for, uh, the, this one light, and that is out of ignorance, you're, you're spared. But after we finish doing these videos, you understand, you're going to be held accountable. So you have to be very careful that you don't confuse uh, these gifts um, like this. Uh, especially when we really do talk about this because uh, some have gifts, like we said, and they use it for evil. And uh, you can't attach the Holy Ghost to that. All right? You can't do it. And so, but when we talk of what we talk about in the gift of God, we, his servant, attach the Holy Ghost to it and say to folks to be careful and all uh, how they uh, touch it or how they speak against it or how they say it because you very well could be blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. 
So, so we're going to really walk this out, talk it out, um, minister it out, however way we can. So you, uh, all around the world, can know the difference uh, in all uh, between the gift of God and those that are psychic and those that are, uh, you know, calling evil spirits, you know, and uh, calling forth evil spirits and and uh, all that kind of talking to the dead, you understand, that's not what his servant does. We do not talk to the dead, but like we said, and we make it known that the spirit is alive and well. And if there be life after death, and it is, listen to this, then that, that means that that individual has never died, that they're not dead, all right? And so, not as you, not as you suppose. So we make sure that you understand that and all. Um, and uh, when we talk about it, because there are some that talk to the dead and literally talk to the dead and all. And you need to know the difference. All right. You need to know even when Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead, what he truly was talking about. All right. So we don't want to get into another uh, space out there uh, and go off of where we need to be. But. This is part one, and we're going to talk about uh, uh, and talk to those with special gifts to calm your spirit down, and also you don't seem to be a person um, who's weird, creepy, and things like that. But MD is a mystery, and uh, and all we just don't like to be saying that we mystic, but we are of a mystery. And it is, we're not easy to figure out. And I think that's, MD kind of like it like that um, and all. But uh, never to the place that it becomes spooky and things like that. And people can't identify you as being a God-like individual. All right? So, again, this has been the voice of High Servant Mother Doris, founder of I Am Sent Me, builder of the storehouse. We're actually one minute, um, one hour, seven minutes and counting into this video so you can see md can talk a little while concerning this or should we say the spirit can uh, talk through his servant in areas like this because this is something we've learned it's a learned light and we realize that there are others that can be helped by this and this is one of the reasons why his servant is pursuing a building and we have vowed uh, we have vowed that we're going to have a classroom come out of, of the building where we can literally bring those in that have special gifts and all and literally like it whether it be one-on-one -on -one or whether it be maybe five or ten at a time uh and all we're literally going to do this we we are committed and even right now you're here to serve and commit to this that that's what we are working on and um and uh, we're looking, we're looking forward to doing it. Absolutely looking forward to doing it. We're looking forward to doing it. We believe we can be of great help uh, to those that have these special gifts and things like that. All right. Well, until next Saturday. Until next Saturday. Be blessed. We're going to do that walk. Oh, we call it one lap. We're going to do at least one lap. All right. While the sun is shining.